Hi, I'm Amalia Brightly Gillett, Managing Director and Second Generation of Family Business Place. Welcome to Family Business in Five, where I tackle some of the most common problems that we see in family businesses in under five minutes. Today, I've got a very special guest, Jeremy from ZoomCow, and he's going to be with me all day and I'm going to be picking your brains. Is that all right? It won't take all <laughs> Welcome day. Welcome to the show. <laughs> in this episode, we're going to talk about using empathy to bring the best out of people. Okay, Jeremy, let's talk about empathy. It's not something you hear a lot about in business speak and leadership, but what is the power of it? I challenge anybody listening to this um, to not be able to recall a time in their life, whether or not they were at school or, or a new mum or something like that, who didn't feel an incredible sense of, oh, I came at the right time when somebody was empathetic towards them. Mm -hmm. someone, someone saw their challenge through their lens yeah just for a moment, and they stopped in their, in their stride, metaphorically, and you just felt brilliant because they did it. And that's empathy. Okay, and so what's the power of that as a business leader? Um, because we, when, when we've received that kind of feeling, it, it just makes us, it's like resetting our clock. It's like control or delete. You just want to give more. You want to suddenly be a better version of yourself. Absolutely. And really. you said to me earlier that people actually only come to work and use about or give about 30% of themselves. So actually anything you can do to help improve that has got to be good. Yeah, but I, again, for fear of repeating uh, what I said earlier, just that thing about wanting to be a better version of you, isn't that lovely? Yeah. I mean, isn't that just fantastic? And Brilliant. if you can achieve that, then that's a competitive advantage for anybody. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going to think of some real practical things you can do mm. as the leader of a family business mm. to really encourage empathy and how you can use it to bring the best out in people. So are you ready? This is your five minute five challenge, minutes. isn't it? Oh, five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. Okay. Let's go. Let's start the clock. Okay, so what can you do? Number one, listen. Now, what does that mean? Listen doesn't mean agree with everything. Listen doesn't mean you've got to do what everyone says. Yeah. But listen means almost like for, for just picking up on the kind of the undercurrents, the, the bits that aren't always obvious. I'll give you a quick example. Um, I've worked with a lot, of, a lot of high performing athletes in my, in my rowing coaching career. And rowing is a killing sport. You've just, the workload's are, it's, it's horrendous. The miles you've got to do, the weights you've got to lift, and it's pretty much the same for anybody. So you've got a, you've got, you've got a, you've got a, a gym full of exhausted athletes, and if you can just pick up that if you could just tailor the training just slightly for one person that just fits a bit more around his studying requirements or his life in some, some way. Honestly, the 1% of empathy you give, I guarantee you get 10% back. Brilliant. Uh, it's listening to those little noises. Fantastic, that, okay. That, rule number one. Brilliant, number two. Listening's not quite enough. Actually, you then need clarity. Um, and that's this is what I call playback. Yeah. So, so when you, communicate something with me and I'm and I'm trying to be empathetic to the kind of what 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 the smoke signals are it's taking that time to say let me just be absolutely clear what, what I think okay. you under what, yeah. what I think you said let me play back what I think you're really getting at yeah so you weren't really saying that what you were really saying is you haven't got enough time to make to, to have your dinner and get down and so if you had an extra half hour you can make it on that. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. So play back what you think someone has said to you. Because actually I couldn't have been in a room with someone. We could have had the same meeting, yeah, the same yeah, conversation, yeah. and we've yeah. both gone away and we've thought completely different things. But if you're taking 30, cent 30 seconds to say, but before we go, yeah. can I just play back what I thought, what I think the real meaning of what you're saying yeah. is? And they go, no, that's not what I said at all. Yeah. Well, they go, that's exactly what I meant. That, that extra 30 seconds will pay huge dividends. That's a really good idea, because I don't know about you guys, but actually, mm. yeah, you can sit in a meeting and you've already got something in your head. So actually, you think you're listening, you're maybe listening, and then you walk away and you think you've had this conversation. And you know, it happens to me all the time. People say to me, Amalia, we talked about that. And I think, oh, I've completely missed that somehow. Yep. So actually, I like that. Stop for a minute and play back what's just been said to you. Brilliant. Yep. Okay, number three. Uh, have an open mind to difference. Um, by that, I mean, it's very easy to... Follow the crowd. You've got, you've got okay. to say, a room of uh, you've got t t 10 team members and yeah. eight are saying, yep, we, sh we should follow plan A. And you, it's very easy to do, then rush and go and follow plan A. And following the least path, path of resistance is, is too tempting. Actually, just take a second and say, well, hang on, but before we follow plan A, does, is, is it the kind of speak now, forever yeah. hold your voice? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Um, now, the minority view might actually be wrong you still gain something by listening to it because it just confirms what we all thought. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there'll be that time where that minority view, 
that, that extra 10 seconds, that extra 30 seconds, yeah. think, actually, you know what, we nearly made a hasty mistake. Yeah. It, yeah. We should just step back and before we rush, take on board, you know, the, the, um, the input here. So I guess empathy really, I suppose if it, if it came down to one sort of catch all, it's don't rush, make sure you've gathered all the data and make sure everyone's clear about the data you've gathered. And then everyone will feel, and that's the key thing, everyone will feel listened to. Brilliant, because actually in a previous video, we talked about inviting collaboration. Yeah. And if you can do that, that's when some of the, the best ideas you know, might come your way. And then if you are then have an open mind to difference, yeah. you don't know where that might take you. Because the trouble with empathy is people think oh, very often that while you're speaking, in my head, I'm talking to myself, rehearsing the answer I'm going to give when you stop talking. Yes, yep, yep. And it's that ability. So empathy really comes down to shutting down your internal voice taking in all the data, you know, working what that all means, making sure everyone is agreed what that data is. So it's, it's being quiet on the inside so you can listen on the outside. Brilliant. Okay, so let's recap on those three things, how you can use empathy to bring the best out of your team, really. Number one, listen. Yeah. Crucial as any business leader. Number two, playback. I love this one. You know, just to stop for a minute after you've had a conversation and just reiterate, okay, so this is what I've understood. Are we yeah. both on the same page here? Yeah. And number three, have an open mind to difference. Some of the best ideas come from their field. It's, it's always easy to just go with the flow, isn't it? And, and, and I was saying to someone the other day, sometimes I feel like a salmon. Like I'm always swimming upstream and everyone else is going this way. But actually that's where the best, you know, the most brilliant ideas come from. So I think there are three brilliant things there. Let's stop the clock. Oh, look at that. We were close to the bone. Seven seconds left. So let's recap on those three things. Listen, use playback and be open to difference. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Yes. I will leave you guys with one final thought. The more successful your family business, the bigger your family's impact. Mm -hmm.